What up you guys? It's me, Betty Rocket. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to turn yourself into a spicy Latina Barbiral. I'm gonna give you guys tips and tricks how to get yourself a sugar daddy. I get my boobs because that's the number one question I always get asked. You just gotta have to keep watching if you wanna find out you guys. Step one in becoming a spicy Latina Barbie. You have to eat like a Barbie. Don't eat unhealthy, you know? So I just picked up a nutritious meal. It has your proteins, all that good stuff that you need for your day. I decided to go with today is a $5 KFC chicken box. You have to eat like a Barbie, you know? You have to watch what you eat. Um, you have to be careful not to overdo it either. So that's why I only got the three piece with the mashed potatoes, the macaroni and cheese, and the large drink. You wanna eat lightly. So I'm watching what I'm eating. This looks good. Finger looking good. <laughs> I forgot I was recording. <laughs> I'm back. I put on my blue contacts. They're circle lenses from PinkyParadise.com. I chose blue because how are you going to be a Barbie doll without blue eyes? That's like trying to be a donut without frosting. You know what that is? A bagel. And an essential part of not looking cakey is to moisturize the f out of your skin. I'm gonna put a little bit of the Farsalia Rose Gold Elixir. Get you this. It's like magic in a bottle. I feel bougie as hell when I use this because it has gold flakes in it. My lips are busty, crusty, musty, and disgusting, so please excuse that. I'm gonna just take my Morphe sponge and I'm gonna press that all into the skin. And I am filming in the kitchen because there is bomb lighting here. If you want to be a Barbie doll, you have to have good lighting. Think about it. Barbie is the most photographed woman on earth. Barbie even has a doll modeled after her. Okay, the skin is nice and pretty with the moisturizer. Go ahead and spray the Mario Badescu spray on my face because I love it. Got it in my mouth. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to eyebrows. And to sketch out the eyebrows, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Benefit, precisely my brow, cause it is the bomb. And if you're wondering why I'm calling everything the bomb, it's because everything that I use is the bomb. I'm not gonna use something that I don't like, like, why, why would someone do that? I'm good. So you, you kinda wanna sketch out your brows as fleek as possible, cause I mean, look at Barbie's brows, they're like, perfect, they're like, the most even brows ever. And with this, I don't really like to fill in the brows, I like to use this like, to sketch it out, to outline. And I'm trying to go for those super duper arch brows, just so I can have that, I got a facelift look. And it's okay if they're not perfect, because we're going to use concealer. Then, to fill in the brows after they're sketched out, I'm going to go ahead and fill them in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer. The color is Ebony. Bam. I don't really have to conceal, but I'm going to anyway because we're trying to look like a Barbie doll and Barbies are perfect. The whole point of this video is so you look like a Barbie doll. So if you don't want to look like a Barbie doll, 
Why are you watching? Why are you watching? Why are you watching? I just broke the tip of the pencil. Oh my gosh, where did it go? I don't want to step on it and get eyebrow pencil over the carpet. Bam! I'm going to go ahead and take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo. It is in the color Ebony as well. I'm going to take the lighter brown color and just fade in the beginning of the brow. And the brush I'm using is the Makeup Shack. It's just a dual-ended eyebrow brush. Sorry, I had to go get some headphones because doing my makeup in silence is weird, so... so. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Beauty Creations Concealer Palette and my Morphe M432. When you conceal around your eyebrows, make sure you use a concealer or you can also use foundation um, that's closest to your skin tone. I used to use a uh, concealer that was lighter, but then I realized I left kind of like a halo effect around your eyebrows. Unless you like that, go ahead, but I don't. Then I'm going to take my Morphe E27, it's like this little blending brush, it's my favorite to clean, um, to blend out creams, it's awesome. I'm going to go ahead and wet it with a little bit of MAC Fix Plus, I'm almost out, but I promise I have some in here. <laughs> And then when cleaning up around edges, um, I kind of like to lay the brush flat against my skin rather than like this. Because I feel like with this, the bristles are like towards the cream. They're creating like an edge. So it's not blending down. It's kind of just blending upwards, if that makes any sense. And just like that, you have your Barbie brows. Snapchat. My username is Demented. Y'all should add me. I'm always posting on my story. Add me on Snapchat, you guys. Yeah, look, that's what my setup for my... <laughs> the setup for right now looks like. I literally moved everything to <laughs> my kitchen. So yeah, add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat name is Demented. I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC Prep and Prime 24 hour. This is my Ride or Die Primer. I'm seriously not even going to take a lot. You need probably like that much for both eyes. Like, small amount. To set the entire eye, I'm going to go ahead and take White Chocolate from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm going to put a light color all over the lid, and for that, I'm taking my... Morphe M224 flat brush. You can just take any flat brush you want. And I'm going to go ahead and take white chocolate again from the Chocolate Bar Palette. And to get 
a really opaque and really pigmented shadow, you want to pat it on your eye because that's going to build up the color. Then we're going to go ahead and start to build definition in the crease. And to do that, I'm taking the Makeup Shack T88. It's a little brush I used to set all over the lid. And I'm going to go ahead and take take salted caramel. Salted caramel. From, caramel? Caramel? I don't know. From, for this look, I'm going to try and keep the eyeshadow more on the outside of the eyes to give like the elongated effect. Next, I'm going in with my Morphe M505. It's like a little sable, I think is what it's called, blending brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and take milk chocolate right here. I'm gonna start to wing it out to elongate my ab walls. And see how that gives the illusion of a more like almond eye. Rather over here, it's nothing, it's just my regular eye shape. Here it looks like I have a more elongated, sexy eye. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take my Makeup Shack T73. It's like a smaller brush of the brush I used earlier. And I'm going to take Semi Sweet, again, from the Chocolate Bar Palette. I'm going to go ahead again with white chocolate and the M M224 flat packing brush and I'm just going to go ahead back on the lid. Then I'm going to go ahead and take Cypress Umber from the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Modern Renaissance. The Makeup Shack T8, it's like a little pencil brush. Then I'm taking my MAC 217 blending brush and I'm blending out that brown. I'm gonna go ahead and take my Benefit Professional. This is my favorite primer ever. Makes you look like a porcelain doll. Like seriously, amazing. And then on top of that, I'm taking the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Cancel out the blue tones of my facial hair. I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Orange Corrector. Neutralizes dark tones. Then to blend that out, I'm taking my Real Techniques Contour Brush. And I'm just going to blend out the corrector of them. Then 
I'm taking my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm gonna powder puff all of the red. I'm taking my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Cons Foundation <laughs> in the color medium 58 neutral. Next, I'm going to conceal with the Sharp Tape Shape Tape Concealer. To give the appearance of a smaller nose, we're going to go ahead and bring in the concealer on the sides of the nose. And then see how it gives the illusion that it brought in the nose. I'm taking a little Morphe, little blending sponge. I love doing this trick with the concealer because it gives you that super sharp I'm going to take my Makeup Shack T42 little tiny blending brush for the face. Then we're going to go ahead and contour the nose. And I'm just taking T62 from the Makeup Shack. It's like a little angled brush. And I'm going to take the middle color right here. To blend that out, I'm going to go ahead and take my MAC 1. 38 30 Mac 130 it's a little stippling blending brush and I'm just gonna blend the sides of my nose out And with the RCMA No Color Powder. Then I'm going to take my Benefit Bronzing Brush and Benefit Hula Bronzer to look like Malibu Barbie. Next, I'm going to take a fan brush and my Kat Von D Shade and Light and I'm going to contour with this. Next step, want to look like a blushing beautiful Barbie, so I'm going to go ahead and take 
tart party blush. And with the us little stippling blush. Brush. Blush brush. Next, I'm going to go in again with my translucent powder and going in with the flat edge of this to carve out my cheek. And for highlighting, we're going to go extra today. I'm taking Artist Couture Illuminati. I'm going in with a Morphe M501 highlighting brush. Next, I'm going to go back in with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar, and I'm going to put brown eyeshadow just on the outer edges of my eye. Next, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline New York Lasting Drama Waterproof Gel Pencil. And the color is Soft Nude, and I'll put that all in my waterline. And then after that, we're going to go ahead and set it with White Chocolate from Chocolate Bar with a flat brush. I'm taking my Ultra Mint Fave NYC Liquid Liner. Using Benefit Their Real Mascara. Then I'm going to take my favorite lashes. One of them. Um, the Makeup Shack Eye Popping Lashes. These are for sure, without a doubt, they give you the doll eye effects. Well, we wait for those to get tacky like you we're gonna go ahead and move on to delete i'm gonna take mac night moth lip liner first i'm going in with diva and in the center we're gonna put mac ruby woo Your lashes should be done getting tacky now, so we're going to go ahead and pop those on your eye. Alright you guys, I'm back. I just got back from my surgeon. I just got my titties done. As you can tell, don't they look amazing? Dr. Dorfman did such a good job on them. Like, I'm so in love with them. I'm just kidding. So, if you guys are ready to know how I get my boobs, here is my secret. These are not real. They are not even skin the these are straight oh, i just had a snip slip these boobs i bought them off ebay i believe they're around like the 200 dollar mark um this is called a silicone breastplate if you're wondering why my hair is up here it's to cover the line of the boob 
see, like, it's not even... Once upon a time, this was my color, though. But, uh, now they're not, because I, I got lighter. But yeah, it's basically just a silicone breastplate. It's 100% pure silicone. You put it on kind of like a bib. It has a Velcro right here in the back. And the reason I wear a necklace is to hide the neckline of the breastplate. See, as you can see. Here's my neck, but... Um, you can't really tell, like, in pictures, like, if you have your necklace right here covering it, and if you have your hair covering the sides right here, it looks like they're your boobs. These are, like, this is, like, the best investment I have made for myself in the longest time. If you're, like, a drag queen or a cross dress or whatever, I highly recommend that you get a breastplate because they look, like, so real. People... The number one question I get in my DMs on Instagram is if I got a boob job. No, I did not get a boob job. I just went on eBay and I bought my boobs from there. Well, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial on how to turn into a spicy Latina Barbie. And until next time, you guys, bye.